Hey, what's up you guys? Shardoms Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Black Panther Wakanda Forever movies, Atuma Build-A-Figure. Shout out Tom Bowling, he he made me do it. Uh, what do you think of my bath fart right over here, huh? I'm pretty proud of my bath fart. And by the way, if you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so it. Search your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you! Link below. And I gotta say, so far, uh, this wave hasn't been totally bad. Uh, ups and downs for sure, though. Anyway, uh, the left arm comes with Namor. The right arm comes with Everett Ross, along with the weapons. And then you get the torso piece that comes with Nakia. And then Black Panther gets the left leg. And then the Hatutsurazi gets the right leg. And then Okoye gets the head. All right, let's get this thing all built. Will you take sway, Bumblebee? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, remove the way. Yeah, just knock this all over right over here. We got pieces. Well, put the weapons aside right there. And uh, we got a left leg attaching to a left hip. And uh, want to make sure you don't get any feathers stuck in that joint when you put that together. And the right leg's connected to the right hip. Blah. That all positioned correctly. Get the right arm ported in there. And then we'll get this straightened out. Get the left arm ported in uh, right there and then lastly i'll form the head just tricky to port on by the way because there's so many feathers and things and i don't want to snap anything all right there we go and now we have <laughs> a tuma all built and spinning on the rotating base looking badass i think this figure looks sick man and we get some pretty good articulation over here i have minor gripes to discuss and we get some accessories to look at as well so let's get a closer look at those and then we'll take a closer look at a tuma so not a whole lot of accessories to talk about we have the two weapons over here and i do like both of them there's a lot of nice details in the sculpt and the white paint for those shark teeth look really good oh man that looks amazing i really dig that a lot I do remember he had two weapons, but for whatever reason, I feel like I remember this one more than anything. I think he used this one. He was battling a Koye. I can't wait to see the movie again. I was really, really sleepy when I watched it the first time. It was pretty late in the day or evening for me when I saw it. So I do want to give it a second viewing. But yeah, I think this looks awesome. Very vibranium-esque purple right over here. I dig that. <laughs> So I'm not going to pretend I've always been the biggest Namor fan and I know everything about Namor uh, because, yeah, I, I don't know everything and Atuma I'm not terribly familiar with, but I do recognize him as one of the main Namor villains. And I guess at this point in the movie, he's more of an ally to Namor and everything. And I think this looks great. It reminds me of the character. I know it doesn't look just like the comic version, but I still think this is very cool. I love this bone coloring that they have right over here. And you see a couple of different colors in there too. So I like that. And then the whole breathing apparatus right there, or the water breathing apparatus is sick as hell. Nice fine details right here with the paint applications. I do feel like Hasbro is getting better with that. So I appreciate seeing it right there. The earrings look really good. We've got the long hair and yeah, the feathers right there on the back of the head. It's more bone parts and everything. I guess combination, I don't, I don't really know whose jaw that is, but there's teeth right there. See the upper jaw to that hammerhead. And yeah, he has the bulletproof armor and everything that we saw in the movie. Nice touches of blue in between there. And then it would have been cool to see some kind of paint detailing on the flesh tone, but they kept the paint detailing on the wood parts, or the wood parts, on the bony looking parts. And I think that looks great right there. So that's really neat seeing these fish spines and everything. And then it's asymmetric goal, so you don't have the same exact thing going on on this side. That's pretty cool. Again, nice attention to detail with that deco. I really like it a lot. And then looking at the skirt piece or the loincloth anyway, it looks really good. You have this very dark red over the brown. A lot of nice looking details over here, man. Uh, I like it, you know, the feathers look really good and stuff. Nice texturing on the feathers or whatever this is. Uh, it could be like shark skin for all I know. I don't know. But yeah, nice looking legs with the pinless joints and we have pinless joints on the arms too. So I dig that. More of that bone color right there on the shins and everything you can see his skin coming through and then he's got his little feet right here which yeah did come out a little on the small side because he stands taller than namor but namor's got these big old patas right over here you know what i mean 
So yeah, a little small right there, Tuma. And then you can see the wraps going underneath the feet along with peg holes. Ah, I forgot to mention this gripe right over here. It looks like this is supposed to be a weapon, right? A dagger was supposed to come out of the back right over here, but uh, nothing's coming out. It's just molded in there. I hate phony weapons. Ugh. Anyway, we get a dumbbell joint with the hinge, but Atuma has very long hair, so it's tricky to get that head looking upward, but he will look up that far, and you can get the head to look down all the way. You do get side to side motion. You have to kind of get the hair flipped over the shoulder to do that though so it can be stuck at an angle depending on how you have it positioned no butterfly joints here well actually i lied it does wiggle forward and back but i don't think that counts as an actual butterfly joint but you do get some wiggling moving the shoulders up is a little bit tricky uh you want to wedge this soft shoulder pad in between these two pieces right here so you can see how it's kind of like sneaking underneath the teeth so yeah you're gonna do that and get that a little bit warped so be mindful you can rotate a full 360 you get a bicep swivel pinless double jointed elbows right there and then the wrists all turn side to side and hinge up and down no horizontal wrist i wish we got like one right hand with the horizontal hinge you get a diaphragm joint and it pivots right there and it crunches forward just a tad and back more so no waist cut here but we have hips that move outward that far i like this material that it doesn't you know get things all hindered uh, you can get them to kick forward that much back a little bit upper thigh cut pinless double jointed knees you get a full-on heel to the butt and then you get ankles that move down they don't move up so much because these spikes are running into each other so that's always kind of a frustration with posing the figure but you do get beautiful ankle pivot now to measure out this atuma figure you can see that he is standing all the way to the tippy top of those feathers over seven and a half inches tall so i'm at a loss of which figures i can compare this atuma build a figure next to but yep here he is next to namor a comic figure but this is an MCU figure. I just want to show the size difference. It is small for a Build-A-Figure, right? And then here's the Tuma next to all of the other figures from the wave. We have the Hatatsurazi. We have the new Okoye. We have the new Black Panther. We have Namor, Nakia, and Everett Ross. And ranking these was not really that difficult. Well, when it got to the middle, it did. So at the very bottom of the list, you guys already know that I am giving it to the Everett Ross. Uh, that's the figure that I just did not need. So yeah, at the very bottom, it goes to that figure right there. Ah, uh, dude, it was so hard to put the Hatatsurazi second from the bottom of the list, but I have to put it there just because there's so many inaccuracies, and the only use I have for it is to make it into a different character, which is White Wolf, so that really bums me out. Uh, we get reused stuff, a little bit of new stuff over there, but... Uh, next, I'm giving it to the Okoye figure. I really like the Okoye figure a lot. I still like the previous version, so that's why it's lower on the list, but I still think that's magnificent. And then right above Okoye, I am giving it to Nakia. And yeah, I already have an MCU Nakia figure in my collection, but this design right over here i really like a lot so i man and i love that they've added the double jointed elbows to these female figures too it just makes me really happy so i'm very happy with that nakia figure then after that i'm giving it to the black panther figure i know that's a lot of people's favorite but uh just the gray right there i just wish we had kind of like a grayish blue color instead of the gray but i like the new sculpted stuff that we're seeing and we're, we are seeing reused body mold stuff over there so i couldn't put it all the way at the very top of the list. Number two, I'm giving it to the Tuma Builder figure. Absolutely love this figure. I think it's great. Uh, but number one spot for me, it's going to Namor. Then here's the Tuma next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Some of you think you're subscribed, but you're not subscribed. So try hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. And this figure I really like a lot, man. Now I didn't expect Atuma to have a huge role in this movie. I expect him to have probably a bigger role later on in the MCU. But that doesn't really phase me from wanting or liking this figure anyway. I think it looks really badass. And I just think they did a really good job uh, with the color schemes that we're seeing over here. I get a big kick out of that beige paint that they use for the bone coloring. And I just really like the design of the figure and everything. And I just think they did a really good job with it. My biggest complaint about it is that it's a Build-A-Figure that's closer to like a regular sized figure than it being like a really big Build-A-Figure. 
but the way and the way the costing works we got a lot of new sculpts over here and the figure itself is taller than all of the other figures from the wave so that does make me happy to see and i'm not surprised by the size of the figure i am surprised by the size of the feet though the feet are a bit small so i have some minor gripes with it uh, ankle articulation moving up that's frustrating to deal with but i really like how the figure looks and i'm overall very pleased with it and at the price point of a build a figure i'm gonna give this a tuma a sud rating of I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on Whatnot. This Thursday, I will have another action figure sale. Hope to see you guys there. If not, I'll catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. I'm overall very pleased with it, and at the price point of a bi- Hey, let me show you Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.